Hey there, Rob from Order42 here, and I typically would stream about something like this, but yeah, this is this is huge. Warner just changed the game. And what we're talking about is this. They are going to bring 17 of their movies scheduled for 2021 day and date with HBO Max. Meaning you can go see Godzilla vs. Kong, The Matrix 4, Dune, all of those movies either in the theater or at home on HBO Max. And it says beginning December 25th. That means that Wonder Woman will be the first one. We knew this. But now they've just completely changed it. Now what does all this mean? I think Reddit has done a great job of really kind of going through this release and talking about exactly what this means going forward. One of the big things that, that, that is not immediately, like it doesn't just jump out at you immediately, is the fact that each movie will only be available for, on HBO Max for one month before it leaves the platform. Now, what I think this means is that the theaters will be able to continue to play the movie for its normal release window, usually like a three-month window, before it goes to your typical home video type releases, meaning Blu-ray, uh, digital on iTunes, um, things like that. Um, Amazon, you know, all of those things, it will be available through the normal channel at that point. But what this does is it gives people the option to watch it on HBO Max immediately at least for those first 30 days. One of the other things here that's very, very important is that the free trial offers for HBO Max are not going to be eligible to watch these movies. So you can't just, nah, I'm going to do my free trial so I can watch Dune, for example. You can't do that. It's just, they're not going to allow you to do that. So here's the release schedule. Thank you to FigJam17 for putting this together. <laughs> but it shows some of those big releases that will immediately be available on HBO Max the same day it's available in theaters. So the some of the big ones here, Godzilla vs. Kong, May 21st, The Conjuring, I guess that's three, The Conjuring 3 on June 4th, you know, the new Space Jam movie, July 16th, Suicide Squad, August 6th, Dune on October 1st, and The Matrix 4 and Sherlock Holmes 3 on December 22nd. I always had this idea that this is where some of the studios would head, especially if they have their own platform, their own digital platform that's actually starting to gain some traction. Now, the big question is, what does Disney do now? There's, there's a lot of uh, possibilities for Disney. One of the biggest things is that their profit margins are much lower on, a Disney, on the Disney Plus platform because they don't license anything. They own all of the content. So the cost of them to put this content out available on Disney Plus is very low because they already own the content. So what this does, I think, is it puts the pressure on Disney to actually commit to releasing their products on Disney Plus on the same day. But then there's that, there's that rumor that Black Widow will be the first one in April to release as a premier access title, kind of like they did with Mulan, where it's, you know, you have your, your Disney Plus subscription, and then on top of that, you pay $29.99 to basically unlock the movie for your Disney Plus account. Do they stick with that now? Now that Warner Brothers is making this huge move, this is, it's one of those things that, I mean, I don't think anybody really saw it coming to this extent. We knew that there was going to be some of this, but not a studio saying, yeah, all of it, all of it on a streaming platform, day and date, with a release in theaters. There's a lot of questions that come out of this. Like, a lot of people were saying that the sequel to Dune, which, if you have been paying attention to, to the Dune news, basically the Dune movie, this movie that we're getting from Denis Villeneuve, that movie is only like the first half of the first book. So a lot of people were saying, well, does that mean that the sequel is really dependent upon how much money it makes at the box office? How do they gauge that now? Do they gauge it with views? Do they gauge it with number of subscriptions? All like, like around the release date? There's a lot of interesting ways for them to 
to kind of calculate that and to say, well, Dune was a big hit for us because we got so many new subscribers around the release date. There's a lot of questions here. I think what the studios have figured out is that in a situation like what we're in now, there's no way that they can even get close to the kind of box office numbers that they were enjoying before the pandemic. So what they're doing is maximizing their profit by saying, okay, we're going to get these people to subscribe to HBO Max. We're going to get that much more money than we would have if we just released it on some other streaming service or just in theaters and only seeing a fraction of what we would have pre-pandemic, kind of like what they did with Tenet. I think Tenet was sort of that final that final nail in the coffin if you could, you know, if you want to say that, where they say, "Okay, we haven't even gotten close to what we were expecting or what we really wanted from box office release." So at this point, what's our best option? And I think HBO Max, for, for Warner at least, that's their best option. This is going to have so many ripples throughout anything that touches the movie industry, whether it's the studios to theaters to home video and home theater equipment even. I mean, you're going to see more people get into surround sound. You're going to see more people wanting to buy the bigger screens. Um, it, it just There's so many questions here. And of course, one of the big things that, that we already kind of knew, they, they, they announced it, what, Tuesday uh, of this week, so that would have been the first, was that Wonder Woman would be the first movie to release on HBO Max in 4K ultra high definition with HDR. So they're definitely trying to give you the premium experience, or at least as premium as you can get in a home. I just don't know what that means for the theaters going forward. I still prefer watching movies in the theater when possible. But of course, in this day and age, it's definitely something that I wouldn't risk. But it's so strange to hear that they're just willing to just do the whole thing. Yeah, 2021, the whole the whole slate, the whole slate will will do it. So I think this puts pressure on every studio, every streaming service to to give more value to their customers. I mean, I think that's that's what it really comes down to. And then from the from the theater point of view, I'm really going to be curious to see how this how this affects, you know, companies like AMC who have been struggling. So yeah, guys, I mean, this is just crazy, absolutely crazy news. I uh, I had no idea that this was going to happen. I mean, I don't think anybody did. But uh, as you know, Warner Brothers, uh, for the longest time, has been one of the best studios when it comes to giving consumers the best options. Um, you know, they were big proponents of, of DVD back in the day when there was, uh, you know, there was DivX versus DVD, which DivX was like a like a pay per view disc that you bought, and it was just it was it was a crazy thing. Warner Brothers fought really hard for DVD. They've uh, always been trying to give the, the, they have the best special editions when it comes to Blu-rays and DVDs. So it's one of those things where I feel like Warner Brothers in this case is one of those where they're really trying to give the, the consumers the best option. But what does this mean? What does this mean for the, the industry? And we're going to be watching this and watching the ripples go out from this, this announcement for possibly years to come. So guys, what do you think? You know, leave your comments in the comment section below. What does it what does it mean for the movie industry? What does it mean for the other studios? Does it put uh, pressure on Disney to to maybe rethink what their what their plan is? Does it does it mean the death of of movie theaters as we know it? Does it basically hand over perfect quality uh, versions of these movies directly over to to pirates to to then go online and Oh my gosh, I mean, we, we hadn't even talked about that part of it. So, yeah, what do you guys think? I mean, I'm really interested to see what this is going to be. So, I'd love to have a discussion with you down in the comment section below. And, of course, if you're interested in more entertainment news, hit the subscribe button. I mean, I, I would really appreciate that. So, guys, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.